Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2014, General Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Last month, I told you that there would be a focus on finances as we get you to the end of the month, and you're actually entering this month with that energy. And this energy really does seem to dominate most of the month. Now, by the time we get you to the end of the month and into the next, your schedule is about to get a lot busier. And so the things that you do now, the financial things that you put into place now to strengthen your financial picture, you're going to be really glad for next month once things do get a lot busier and you will need those resources, but you will also need that structure. Now, I'll be here to talk about it then. However, just to give you some perspective on the importance of this time, but just because it's important doesn't mean it has to feel very consequential. Because ultimately, your sign is not a very materialistic one. Your sign is one that, of course, has money in its proper place, but does value elements of living in your truth as more important and allowing prosperity to flow from that place. And whatever it is that you do for a living, you have to, in some way, make that connection in order to be at peace with yourself. And that's going to be part of what comes up for you now as well. It's not just about stabilizing your finances or reaping more finances, although I do think that's a very strong possibility, but it is about also being grounded in your finances and feeling good about the way you feel about money, but also about the kind of money and the flow of money happening in your life. Now, I did say just now that the likelihood of you increasing your bottom line is very strong now, and it does look like whether it's a financial idea that you're able to implement very quickly, or whether it's actually a new financial opportunity that presents itself to you, it does look like just on a paycheck level, it does look like the possibility of you really improving your financial circumstances is there very strongly. Now, for some of you, there is this element here with this energy that has to do with the dream, okay? And so if you are a person who works in film or photography or some element of really manipulating an image or presenting a fantasy to other people, um, then this energy can really reap the maximum reward for you. This energy that you start the month with can be about you really improving your finances considerably. Those of you who are not, even like in a very broad sense of the term not, if you can make alliances with people in those industries, regardless of it, what it is that you do, offer your services, that could be one way to work positively with this energy. But another possibility is if you're not able to actively engage this energy of glamour in some way, in the broadest sense of the term, if you're not able to engage that energy or people in that industry or those industries then another likely possibility is that whatever it is that kind of shows up for you is it just kind of is a possibility. It doesn't look very tangible. It doesn't look like something you can really lock down. Now, it doesn't have to stay that way. And it can be, as I said, the glamour, also medical to a certain extent, the medical fields as well can benefit from this energy. But if it is just a dream, then understand that the dream and the possibilities are meant to inspire you and can contribute to your larger financial security and financial picture. However, it's just might require a little bit more time. You might not see the rewards as fast as if you did try to actively engage or you were in some way involved in those other sort of glamour reaching industries. It is around the middle of the month that the, the picture changes a little bit. So it becomes less about the money you are earning and more about the resources that you have access to and more about getting right with your money, how you feel about with your money and also having to interact with financial institutions as well. So whether that's banks, whether it's you want a loan or a bursary or an insurance payouts or benefit package, whatever the case may be, that seems to call your attention towards the middle of the month and for much of the month actually as well. And so if there is a dream that comes up, now this is a perfect time, as I said, um, it may take you a little while to actually see the money if it's just a dream that shows up for you or just an idea that's not in some way connected with how you could more quickly reap reward. Um, if it is just an idea, 
you are going to be given the opportunity to really clarify that idea, to really get it down on paper, and then in the middle of the month to make your pitch, to understand where the finances for your idea is going to come from. And that, in turn, can lead to greater financial prosperity as well. Keep in mind also that Mercury has been moving backwards in your sign in the month of February. Now starts to go direct, just as February ends and March begins, starts to go direct in your sign. So it is as if an important part of you on a level of mind on a level of clarity is also moving forward as well. It's you really understanding who you really are, what really matters to you and how you really feel on an intellectual level. So what before sort of was an emotion, a feeling kind of in the ether, you couldn't really understand it. Now you really start to give language to it. Now you're able to talk it out. Now you're able to ask for what it is that you really want and you're better able to communicate your desires as well and especially your desires that are very close to the heart, close to identity, close to you understanding yourself and who it is that you are. If you can keep it about you, as I said in the right at the top of this horoscope, this video scope, you're not a very materialistic soul. It's not so much about the materialism. It's not about money for money's sake for most Aquarians. It's about in some way, even if other people can't understand the logic or the connection, but it is about some way making a connection between a higher purpose and work that is meaningful and your prosperity. You're going to get lots of chances to do that this month. You really are being encouraged to get right with your money in every sense of the word, to get right with financial institutions as well. If you are willing to engage that energy, if you are willing to do that work, then you are going to find yourself coming to a sense of peace and a sense of a quiet entitlement, if you will. And when I say entitlement, what I mean is just knowing that what you offer the world is worth being acknowledged and worth being reciprocated in terms of your prosperity. And you get right in that place, you come to peace in that place and put prosperity and put money in its proper place, then you're going to find your finances stabilizing considerably. You're going to find people want to support you and support your ideas by supporting you financially or by providing you with financial backing. And that in turn is going to allow you to feel a sense of stability as you move forward and develop some even, even bigger dreams, bigger ideas as your schedule gets a lot busier a little bit further down the road. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.